So I think let's just start off with what a cold chain is. Uh, so basically a cold chain is a temperature controlled supply chain. What that means is it extends from production up until consumption, so farm to fork. Um, so if we understand what the significance of this, we have to understand what products have to, move, have to move through a cold chain. And the products that we would need to move through a cold chain are agricultural products, such as uh, fruit and veg, and then products such as frozen products or chilled products, which includes meat, fish, poultry. And then we start to look at other products like pharmaceuticals, um, and then some chemicals such as paint that needs to be in a temperature controlled environment. So you really the significance, if you understand these, uh, these industries, these industries are obviously massive. Um, they account for lots of jobs um, and a lot of money spent in these industries. So really um, having a, a, a well-functioning cold chain um, is critical to ultimately preserving the quality of these, uh, these products. So if we look at um, what the value in the cold chain is, if we look at products, it's about extending the shelf life of products and maintaining the quality. It's about reducing waste, which ultimately can lead to environmental impact. And really, it's about having a happy customer at the end that's getting a product at the quality that it was intended.